Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, if you recall, we are using the scanner room method to hunt for our Cyclops engine fragment. But this area proved to be worthless. So, we're going to pack it up and head out. So thankfully, with the use of revolutionary Seamoth storage technology, we can store the entirety of this setup within the Seamoth and basically have a portable base. Pretty nifty. So I found that storing only titanium in the Seamoth um, seems to do a pretty good job of just making everything convenient. So because titanium is one of the most common used resources in this uh, sort of setup here. So a lot of titanium is used, like a lot of titanium. There we go. So, let's head out. Now, we actually found one of the fragments near the proposed grassy habitat last time. We did set up a scanner room near there, but I don't think that we positioned it in a good spot. So we're just going to kind of keep moving it around and see what we find here. So... Hmm, this area seems promising. Perhaps. Can you not, buddy? Not anymore. Oh, but there is stuff for me to pick up over here. All right, let's make this quick. Oh, it had mono pool data in apparently. Do I have any water? No, I do not. That's not good. Really, not a single open door. From the top, maybe? Huh. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, there it was. Oh, I'm upside down. Jeez. He was literally right above me. All right, let's uh, let's go park this in the uh, bay. Let it charge. We're gonna get some water, and then we're gonna head over that direction and do some scans. Hmm. 
And I would walk 500 meters and I would walk 500 more just to get the hell away from that Leviathan glass monstrosity. All right. Um. Is, so it turns out that um, things are uh, not as uh, easy as I was uh, first proposing them to be. So we're gonna need to kind of uh, take a couple steps back here and just sort of go and um, put our batteries in here. Okay. Um. We need salt, and I'm working on it. I'm really working on it. But I can't really seek fluid intake when you're screaming in my ear, lady. Okay. <sighs> that way we can store salt in our inventory and actually do some crafting. What have you got there? A knife. That's a cool noise. Whatever that was, that's a cool noise. That's a really cool noise. Don't tell me what's stabilizing and what's not. Respect my authority. Uh, I'm actually in a good mood right now. That's weird. All right. There we go. Um. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's try to get one more thing of water, just so that way when it comes down to it, we can, you know, survive longer. Kind of a foreign concept, I know, but, you know. Gotta love your daily bleach intake, boys. It's what keeps us healthy and strong and full of our vitamins is our bleach intake. <sighs> That's like one of the most satisfying things. Oh, I just ran into a pole. Is um, doing those like, you know, ODST drops with uh, the mono pools where it like drops it down. It reminds me of like an ODST drop pod or like a Warhammer 40k drop pod. Or like, insert other drop pod here from, you know, media. Or like the, the scene from like, Star Wars The Force Awakens, where the ambassador ship like drops from the, uh, the big cruiser. I don't know my Star Wars ships that well, I'm sorry. But I, I do know that, uh, um, I'm not going to say that. Because I don't know if people will be able to understand that I'm being sarcastic. Because I was going to say in a sarcastic tone, I love the part when, uh, when, uh, I can't remember the name of the ship from, uh, Battlestar Galactica, but I was going to say, I love the part when Spock, insert ship name here, goes to, insert random other sci-fi planet here 
with Harry Potter and then does the insert generic quest line here with Chewbacca. So, because I'm so quirky and so funny. I've probably already positioned a scanner room around here, but I may as well do it again. It is really dark, like really dark. Okay, multi-purpose room. That's a lot of titanium. I just had to use for that, so let's go get all the titanium that we need now. Then we're gonna drop in Hatch, not the Senator. That was a, a, a political joke for those of you who don't know. We have Orrin Hatch as a senator. So. Or is he in the House of Representatives? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's politics. I mean, it's only like the fate of the country. Whatever. Who cares? Whatever. Do you guys remember that, um, that Nicktoon short with, like, the, the superhero that's made of toast? And, like, he, he, like, burns the Declaration of Independence and Constitution for, like, warmth by the fire while, like, flirting with his secretary because he, like, saves the president from a heart attack or something. I don't, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. That just came into my head. But... <laughs> It's a Nicktoon short. Um, I don't remember the the name of it, but I just remember that scene in particular, just because of how ridiculous it was. All right, this is a pretty big area, actually. Okay, so last time we, we set this up here, I think we were in like the same exact area we were. Yeah, because there's the ridge. We were on the other side of the ridge when we first set the scanner. So who knows what kind of fun stuff we'll find. Heat area, data box. Hmm. Interesting. So far, no sign of what we're actually looking for. Okay, cool. That's what I want to see. Is it finding anything? Nope. Let's have it search for... Let's see, what's something we could use? Um, Rex, I guess. Let's see what kind of what, what wrecks are nearby. And we have this one over here. And we have that one down there. Hmm. Let's move our search efforts up there. So, it's a little bit of a trip, but, uh, okay, I don't know why it's struggling, it's literally on the exterior of it. I'm not going to wait for that. All right, well, let's go take the modules out. And... Let's uh, move our scanning operation. Whoa, that is cool. That's real cool. I don't know if that's screenshot worthy, but we may as well just, you know, get one.
Oh, apparently, uh... Finish deconstructing attached components first. What are you talking about? Oh, inventory times 60. Okay, fine, whatever. That is your opinion, but I'll allow you to keep it because my inventory is not full, as you can see. Ah, inventory full, huh? All right. So much titanium goes into these things. It's ridiculous. All right, I think we decided to go up quite a bit. We want to try to keep it around the uh, 150 meter range. So, I think we set up one right down there too. So maybe we should try moving it. Whoops, my bad. Hmm, I wonder, will we find anything that we set up down here? I mean, it's worth a shot, I guess. It's only like five minutes to do a full assembly, right? Need more titanium. Scanner room, scanner room. Everything's better with a scanner room. And we need a hatch. And we're probably going to need a little bit more titanium for the um, reactor. All right, let's go get some fish. Let's only do one spade fish this time, or maybe just two. But not like a full, like, you know, enough to power it for a couple weeks, an hour deal. We'll just do two of them, you know. In particular, the infected ones, because why not? And let's give it a little bit of juice. Alright. So, already it looks like it's finding some good stuff. That goes down deep, wow. See, it also goes somewhere too. Maybe, I don't know. Hmm. It's got something over there too. Interesting. Do you have anything like a uh, uh, engine fragment parts, please. Let's let's do some wreck exploration.
Okay. That's kind of cool. I wonder what's casting a huge friggin' shadow on my thing. It's a really dark shadow. Alright, so we have a wreck all the way over here that we're going to go take a look at and let the uh, scanner room do its job for a little bit and maybe it'll pick up on some uh, parts and pieces that I haven't quite picked up yet. But it does look like I've already been to this wreck site. So... Is there a way to get into this piece of debris here, or is it locked in? Oh, there's a way. And it looks like I have definitely already been in here. Without a doubt. Alright, well. I believe that means that it's time to go investigate the other site. After doing some much needed repairs on our poor little Seamoth. There we go. So let's go see what this one's all about. It's kind of a distance away, but... It's probably the one with the big, um, vertical, upright wreckage. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Huh. Okay. Well... I mean, I did say I did get it, call it, so I don't know what that gets me. Pretty much nothing. And let's see if it picked up anything when it comes to, uh, Parts we might actually need. Did you find anything new? Oh, it's got three now. Um. But nothing that I actually need but gel sac. I think that gel sacs produce arrow gel. Where are the gel sacs at? Oh, okay, down there. Hmm. So I definitely need to give the scanner rooms more time, because I'm not doing that. Lesson for me, I guess, is I just need to give them more time. Oh, where's my sea moth? There it is. All right, let's deconstruct this guy. There we go. All right. So the engine fragments are kind of scattered with no real location it seems like they're just sort of wherever they want to be unlike like um i don't know if it's just that i'm not looking in the right areas because I, I know i found one over here and i'm pretty sure i found one in the mushroom owl poor fishy the mushroom areas earlier so kind of strange i'm having this much trouble finding engine parts i think like I everything i'm having problems with it's the Freaking engine fragments. Well, um, we're going to head 
those scanner and fragments always trip me out because I think that it's an engine fragment, but it's not. Well, it probably wouldn't hurt to head to the opposite side of this over here and start scanning. Or maybe even scan near the aurora near that radioactive zone and see. Kind of a little bit of a ways away, but oh well. Wouldn't hurt to set up a scanner and check in those areas. In fact, there's an area where the two, where a uh, mushroom reef and the radioactive area share like a point of con congruence. So I might be able to kind of piggyback with a scanner room and see if I can catch both of them in the area. So we're going to go do that. It's a little bit of a drive, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Lots of dead fish, lots of them. More dead fish. All right, right here will do, I think. Probably a little bit, more, probably a little bit closer, actually. We'll do it right up here for the first one. All right. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna grab all the titanium we possibly can and just jam it in there. So why not? Hatch. Scan a room. Okay. There we go. Any fish that want to volunteer for our science experiment? Huh. Okay, apparently not, but there's a battery there. And speed fish. Okay, that'll do. And then we're just gonna hop into here. And let's get that bioreactor going. Perfect. already finding a lot of fun stuff. Cool. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Huh, maybe there's another wreck over there. That's what we're checking out probably. Another one over there too. Hmm, this may not have actually been the dream location I thought it would be. I might need to relocate it and move it way down there. Which would make sense considering we're 69 meters up. Gosh dang it. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to store... All the resources that I have in my inventory that I don't necessarily need, like let's see, like these guys. 
So that way, when I start deconstructing stuff, it'll all fit my inventory cleanly. I'm also going to go and get some food, because my character is hungry. There we go. Come on. All right. Any reason why I shouldn't deconstruct you? Nope. We're going to move it way down there now. All right. May the deconstruction begin. It all fits. Oh, except for one, apparently. <laughs> funny. Real funny. Real funny. Let's go throw the batteries in the storage. This way we can actually also grab some fish, too. You. Come here, be my specimen. There we go. All right, time to go deep. Let's uh, let's set it up way down here. I might want to be a little careful. Cause I'm pretty sure this becomes Leviathan territory. Right here is perfect. Multi-purpose room right there. Wish there was a way to modify the uh, construction tool so construction would happen a lot faster. Thank you for that. I really appreciate you just like, you know, moving it there. It's not like I got everything lined up or anything. All right. Perfect. And now we're going to go and we're going to throw in our... F we're going to eat one of the fish apparently. There we go, this is a much better area to scan. Um, though it still doesn't seem like there's anything that we need. I guess we can just go and take a look at the Well, first, let's just make sure that our uh, power source is secure by getting more fish to throw in there. There we go. Last time I actually had a... Um, farm with acid mushrooms that I would throw in there. So 
So we're going to leave that running and go check out those data boxes real fast. And maybe as it searches, we'll get lucky. And I think I've already been here. Hey, none of that now. Oh boy. All right, we're just gonna go find the entrance for this, I guess. I'm not sure if they're too much of a fan of me being out here. But, uh, is it? Nope. Right, repeat data. Thanks. Is that? No, you're just a tease. I was thinking maybe because it was like an engine fragment or something, but nope, it is not. <sighs> Why would it be? Yes, so many scanner room fragments because why not? Why not make all the scanner room fragments look exactly like a Cyclops engine fragments? Why not? Not like there's anything morally messed up with that or anything. Gosh darn hooligans. Is that really the only entry point on this thing? Is through that one little hole? Oh. Totally missed that. And now I'm disorientated. Thank you, game. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Let's go get some more oxygen real fast. Now that we know that that's there. So let's real fast, just quickly go through this. Then we're going to head back and check the results of the scan room and see if it found any fragments. Maybe if we're lucky, it did. Okay. 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 <sighs> Just gotta cut my way through this, I guess. There we go. Okay. More used stuff. Yes, why not? 
PDA though. Battery. Useless fragments. Cool. So apparently there's another one in there that I just can't manage to get my hands on, but who cares? We're going to head back. Whoa, okay. Double whoa, okay. Oh, whoa, you're not very happy with me being out here, no, no, no. Please ignore what I just said. All right. Yes. Fragment. Okay. Please, 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 please be what I need it to be. Just too bad it's taken me out back to where we just came from. Which means it's probably the modification station that wants me to scan. <sighs> Yay. It's exactly what it is, isn't it? But it's not highlighting the... Thank you. So there must be something else in there that I missed that might be handy to scan. Oh. Okay. Oh, cool. Alright, yeah, I'll scan that. Alright, so that's what that was. Apparently it was a stasis rifle fragment. But, hey. Now there's no more trip-ups or confusion with, uh... That. So, that's a bonus. At least. I just realized why the fish do these little jumbles. Because when they do it like this, they look like those. So it's like they're trying to make themselves look like bigger prey. It's kind of cool, I guess. Following uh, Qui-Gon Jinn's philosophy of there's always a bigger fish. Well, once again, no luck. And not from a lack of trying either. Hmm. Maybe I should move it over here next time. Well, that'll be next time. Because it is picture time. So, let's uh, see if we can find some pretty cool looking pictures here. I like those really big blue guys. I get one up close of you, buddy. Hey, come here. Come here. Whoa, backwards. Hey, don't go away. Come on. That's right. Come on. Come on. One more. Let's go. Can I get a decent angle of you like that. Kinda. My feet were in the way. 
There we go. That was that last one was really good. Okay. Perfect. All right. Thank you all for watching this episode of the Subnautica ASMR series. Just wanted to give a quick thank you to my uh, Tingle supporters, as well as my donators. And for the rest of you, I appreciate that you took the time out of your day to watch this video. Because every little bit helps, whether it be from donating on Tingles or uh, watching my content in general. Um, both are... I mean, you know, obviously one one's definitely better than the other, but I mean, at the same time, just by watching my content, you're kind of moving me up in the YouTube algorithm. Like, uh, for an example, one of my uh, Minecraft videos is like on the second page of the YouTube results. So that's pretty cool. So, <laughs> it's real cool. Second page where no one looks. Anyways, th thank you for watching this episode and actually sticking around to this far. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been getting me, giving me. Whether it's from your likes, your comments, your tingle supporting, your viewing, your watch time. All of that is fantastic. And thank you all and have a fantastic night.